we are. We've got all the pieces on the side uh, glued in place. There were a few that wanted to pop up. For the most part, all of them just laid down uh, with their own weight. But uh, there were a few that wanted to pop up. So I took the little crisscross thing here. And in a few key places, I held down the pieces that wanted to pop up. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get myself another piece of cardboard. And I've still got some wax paper left over. And I'm going to set up my other, my other board and I'm going to do my other side. All right, we have all four of our uh, pieces done. We have the left side, the right side, the top and the bottom all glued up, ready to go. And I do have one piece. And I'll either glue this somewhere onto the bridge after the bridge is completed, or I'll give it back to my teacher and my teacher can use it for spare parts. All right, our bridge has had some time to dry, so let's uh, start pulling these pins out and Let's save the pins so that other people can use them later. And uh, if you didn't get glue all over the place, uh, your pins should be fairly easy to pull out. If you were sloppy and you got glue all over the place, uh, your pins may be glued in place as well and you'll have to use a pair of pliers or something to get those pins up. But these are all coming out quite nicely for me. And you notice I'm taking all these pins and I'm putting them back onto the pin caddy so that other kids can use them. And if you didn't get too much glue on your project, it should peel off the wax paper fairly easily. There's our bottom. You may have, you might have to slide the um, X-Acto knife under the edge to get some of them off of there. And let's get our other pins out. Now here's, here's the four sides of our bridge all ready to glue together. Now, as you recall, I made the um, pieces stick out a little bit. Um, there may be some little bits of glue that you don't want. I would trim those off. If you get those out of there, the, your bridge will go together a little bit more cleanly. Just a few little blobs of glue that are going to get in the way during our final assembly. There, we got all those blobs of glue out of there. Now we're going to put some glue along this edge here. There we go. Now, we'll take this and we'll put it together like this. And since we, now I have a couple that are interfering. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop off the two end ones. On both sides. Okay. Now you can see that since I, since I had the overlap on the railroad ties, they're coming through and they're meshing with the bridge. So it's making a really strong bridge. Now for final assembly, you'll want to go to your teacher and get a handful of these plastic clothes pins. And this will make it much easier to hold your bridge together while it dries.
like so. And then we're going to put glue along this other edge. And then we're going to take this side, put it on. Again, hold it in place with plastic clothespins. Plastic clothespins work a lot better than wooden clothespins. Plastic clothespins won't stick to the wood glue the way wooden clothespins might. And then we're going to put some glue on the sides of the top. And here again, we're going to use these plastic clothespins as little gluing clamps. When your bridge is at this stage, you can take it to your teacher and get it marked off on your uh, blue project point sheet uh, for, for classroom credit. And uh, we're all done except for one little thing, and that is we have a mess. Kids, it's cleanup time! Now this wood glue is water-based glue so just go over to the sink and underneath the sink you'll find some sponges and just take a sponge, a wet sponge, and just quickly clean up all this glue. And then you'll want to take the wax paper off of your cardboard So the next kid can use the cardboard. If you didn't get your technical drawing marked off on your blue sheet, take it to your teacher right now and have your teacher mark that off on your blue sheet. Otherwise you, you will lose those points. So turn the cardboard back into the checkout station. Throw the wax paper in the garbage can. Any small scraps that are no longer any good to you, throw those in the garbage can. Um, if you've been checked off on your blue sheet, you may recycle this. Turn in your scissors, tape, and glue caddy. Turn in your cutting mat. Turn in your pin caddy. Um, and take the sponge back to the sink and uh, rinse it out. And you're all done with the bridge except for the final uh, unpinning. Okay, here we are. Our bridge has had plenty of time to dry. Uh, overnight is usually the best. And we'll just take these little plastic clothespins off of here. They make excellent gluing clamps. And the bridge is now complete and you'll want to make sure and uh, take your bridge to your teacher to show it to your teacher to have it marked off on your uh, blue project point sheet uh, so that you get credit for it. Now don't take your bridge home because we're going to test these at the end of the term. So keep your bridge here in your locker and uh, hang on to it till test day and hopefully your bridge was made strong enough so it'll beat everybody else's bridge. There it is. Don't forget, you borrowed these from the teacher, so take the plastic clothespins back to your teacher and turn them in.
Thank you.